Hey guys, it is Thursday night. I am home from work already. Um, I'm just gonna update you guys. I don't know what I vlogged, if I've already updated. Oh, my chair. Um, but I'm just gonna talk to you guys. This is on my phone. I'm sorry well, for my hand. And the quality isn't the greatest. Um, but that's just kind of life right now. Hold on, let me see if I can stand this up on something. So I don't have to hold it. There, that's a little bit easier. I'm trying to put my head in front of that light. Um, okay, camera's moving. Okay, <laughs> sorry, this is awkward, but um, if you've been watching my vlogs, my other camera died on me. It had an error code. It looks like it's under some sort of advisory. So as long as the serial number is within a certain range, it will actually be covered for free. I did call them. They said that is the case, but they'll have to check it out and make sure that it's the issue that is covered by that advisory. So I should only have to pay for packaging and shipping and then nothing else. And then when it gets to them, they said it takes about seven days for them to look at it and fix it and send it back. So I should have it back within a week or two because I assume it'll take time to ship there and then ship back seven days in their facility. Um, so it'll probably be a couple weeks before I have an art video. There will be one, like I mentioned, because it was pre-filmed. So, um, yeah, they sent me a UPS packaging label to put on the box. So I don't know if I also need to pay shipping or if that's covered with that label. I guess I'll see when I take it in tomorrow. Second update, my car. Again, if you watch the last vlog, my car broke down. It just kind of like lost power. So I was driving and it just kind of like started slowing down and feeling really heavy. And then the windshield wipers turned themselves on and the radio kind of went staticky and turned off. And I had that happen to me before in a previous car and it was my alternator. And I remember the last time that happened, it just kind of like died and wouldn't restart. So I pulled over as quickly as I could to the shoulder. Fortunately, I was already in the right lane and they called a tow truck. And while the tow truck was on its way, I did try a couple times to get it to restart because with my other car, the alternator, when it died, it did actually restart once or twice, but I, it would not restart at all. So I had the tow truck take it to a friend's place because the auto shop that I took my car to the last time, and that's like literally a five minute walk from my house, was closed at the time because it was Memorial Day. So Tuesday, I went in to work late. I got a ride from Thomas because we work at the same place and I'm just like going in earlier than I normally would, which isn't ideal, but it works. So we took it to the place. They said they'd take a look at it. It took them a couple days because their diagnosis guy was out of town. He just took a longer break for the Memorial Day weekend. And so they were looking at it today. I called uh, when I left work, so around three, and they said that they were actually gonna try to call me later this afternoon when he went to take a look at the car, he got it to start. He was able to drive it into their like garage thing where they look at it. He was cleaning things, doing diagnostic tests, and everything was looking normal. So we can't find anything that's wrong with it. So they said that they were gonna continue tonight and tomorrow morning to try to just like go out every couple hours and try to start it and see if it'll continue to start. So I don't know what's going on with that. I, I might end up just paying for their diagnostic services and not even have it get fixed because they don't know what's wrong. And if that's the case, I'm a little scared to drive it on the highway and then have the same issue, but not be able to get over to the shoulder as quickly. So if I get my car back without them figuring out what's wrong and fixing it, I might just try to only drive on back roads for a while, even though it'll take a little bit longer. I'd rather get stuck on a back road than on a freeway. Um. Tuesday, I picked up some business cards. If you're following me on Instagram, you will have seen these. So I bought these from Staples. It was $15 for 250 of them, which isn't horrible. And this is what they look like. Um, because, sorry, I'm, I'm filming on my phone, so I don't know if it's gonna focus very well. Let me see. Focus, maybe? I don't know. Well, this is as good as we get. 
this. So this is just one of the paintings. I kind of want to get another set of 250 or something um, with a different design on it. I think it turned out pretty good. This design is a little bit blurry. And I think it's because when you upload photos, it only let you upload so many megabytes instead of like the full sized photo. So I think that that made it a little bit blurrier. But still cute. I'm gonna try to order more. I don't really know how many I need for the festival, but 500? 1,000? If I run out, I run out and I'll know that for the next time. They also printed these really fast, so I wonder if I could do a rush order and just like have them same day. That'd be nice. Um, Another update, I had pizza for lunch at work today. The company provided pizza, so that was nice. And I'm about to go out to a little coffee shop, cafe, bar thing and hang out there, maybe do some drawing and reading. And um, this weekend I really don't have anything planned, but next week I'm going to Cabo. So I will probably just be trying to get everything ready for that. So stay tuned. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm back in my car. It's Friday afternoon, they were still starting it, driving around the block and stuff, and they couldn't find anything that was wrong with it. Which, in one sense, is kind of nice, because hopefully there just like isn't really an issue. Um, they said that they cleaned some things, and there was one thing that was kind of dirty, and he was saying that it could affect, sorry, um, it could affect the way that it runs, so it's possible that that being dirty caused it to stall, but they still don't really have an explanation for what was going on. So, I'm just hoping as I drive it around, it's not going to stall out on me again. If it was just that that thing is dirty and needed to be cleaned, great. I really hope that's the case because uh, it was like $260 just because they spent so long doing diagnostics and stuff. Okay guys, I'm back in my car. I just shut my camera my camera off. And I have to say that was pretty sketchy. Like they took the label that I had. I didn't even watch them box it and put bubble wrap on it, so I really hope she actually does that. Um if she doesn't, like it could get damaged in the mail. So I'm a little bit concerned. Also it was confusing because they sent me two different um address thing so like one actually had the scanner for the UPS so it seemed like they're paying for the packaging and the other one was just the addresses so I was like I don't know which one I'm supposed to use so she used the one where it would pay for it and I didn't get charged for a box or bubble wrap or anything but I don't know if like that's covered in the program or something they have so I'm really worried that like it's not gonna make it there or that if it does it's just gonna like break because they're not gonna have wrapped it properly um, hopefully they will though. I'm a, little, I'm a little concerned. Also, there's a Papa John's right next to this UPS. I'm pretty sure I just got cat called as I walked by. Um, I was walking by and I just heard a bunch of whoops that ended as I, um, as I finished walking past. And I turned and looked at them and made eye contact with one of the guys and he just laughed. So, that's fun. Hey guys, I haven't really vlogged today because I didn't wake up till 9 and then I just kind of sat and drank coffee and went to the gym. But this is some tiki masala from the co-op store underneath me. It was like six bucks. It smells really good. And then I'm also having this smoothie um, with some protein powder. So yeah, that's it. Uh, probably won't be doing a whole lot today, working on a commission. I'm looking into potentially buying an iPad so I can draw on there. So we'll see if I go out and buy some things later today.
Okay guys, it is Sunday and I've just been starting to get packed for Cabo. I was trying to decide what books I'm bringing with me. So I think I decided on Inferior. I've already read some, uh, about 55 pages. I might read more before we go on the trip. So I'm hoping I can finish this on the plane to Cabo. And then I'm also bringing Erased, the volume two again. This, I should be able to finish on the way there because it is a manga, it shouldn't take too long. But of course, I'll also have my DS with me and I'll have a sketchbook, so it's possible that I'll get distracted with those and maybe won't finish all these books. And then if I finish all those and still feel like reading, I'm bringing this, Eyes Wide Open by Ted Decker. Uh, if you don't know Ted Decker, he writes a lot of like suspense and thriller books, which I enjoy on occasion. So we're doing this, and then I'm also packing Scarlet. Uh, I forget the author's name, but it's um, in the Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, Fairest series. And then I'm also packing Grace and Nine Eyes by Liz Curtis Higgs, which is like a historical Christian romance set in Scotland, I think. Uh, that one's longer than the rest, so that's kind of, if I manage to finish all these books, then I'll go to that one. But I always pack more books than I can read. But I'd rather do that than get bored on the flight and have nothing to do. So, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Just because I'm going to try to edit it tonight, hopefully, and then get it up because we leave on Wednesday. So then this video will be ready for Sunday because I'll be home probably by like 11 or later on Saturday so I'm not gonna have time to do any editing and I don't plan on bringing my laptop with me to Cabo I'm just gonna have my phone so I'll probably I mean I will for sure be trying to vlog while we're out I'm not sure how much footage I have though and then the vlog will be the week after this one comes up so comment like subscribe hit that bell thing so you can get notified and I'll see you guys in the next one